Yo, yo, people, what's going on? Fallen Rain here for another video on Dragalia Lost. This time, we're going to be talking about Hildegard, the five star healer, which currently at the moment is definitely one of the best healers in the entire, entire game so far. All right, this is going to be a review video talking about her skills her abilities and her overall performance you know what i mean for teams okay so let's get straight into this all right um for, so from the get-go she is a healing type unit um different of course from uh Heinwald, who actually does damage she is just a strict um healer okay so as you can see here, you've got the at you know max and whatever. She's my current one is at fifteen hundred strength, um, roughly about sixteen hundred and sixteen HP, and overall at four thousand one hundred two. All right. Now the key thing here is, of course, is the skills. The skills are what set um, each of the characters apart from each other. And for her one, Radiant Saver, Radiant Savior is really good it heals quite a lot i would probably say yeah roughly around that 300 400 region depending on how much boosts you have on and stuff like that but the fact that it also removes curses is really really good so that means that you know when you're fighting someone like the shadow dragon Z zodiac or zodiac um you know who curses you all the time you'll be able to constantly heal that curse while healing HP which is really really great the skill that I really really love though is this one here this skill is just absolutely amazing man this is what sets her apart literally from like you know other characters this this skill here is what makes her a five star tier one as they've been saying character yeah sacred guardian this is the move yeah next to what i've covered with heinwald's um call to chaos this is the skill for her yeah so let's read this grants all teammates a one use shield that nullifies damage less than 30 percent of the user's maximum hp Should I repeat that? <laughs> Grants all teammates a one use shield that nullifies damage less than 30% of the user's max HP. Do you know how mad that is? That means, right, yeah, that depending on how high your HP is of Hildegard, yeah, depending on how high that is, because this is percentages, and this is why I love percentage techniques it has no limit no limit yeah so 30 percent of that right okay cool so let's say what's she got 1600 all right let's do my maths so 10 percent um seven percent of that would be 160 right yeah at, um for let's say 1600 so 10 percent of that double that that's 32 right so that's 320 double that again what's that 48 yeah 48 yeah 48 so 480 damage is being nullified 480 and that is going to go up in future especially when i put her through a mana circles more um when i find a dragon that will boost her hp by like another 50 percent or something like that when i give her a weapon that might boost up her hp if that ever comes out it's crazy it has no limit it's limited to the amount of hp you have and 30 percent of it so where she's on 16 16 right now pretty much that's gonna go up to 500 you know what I mean? Like, you know, once I put her through her mana circles, give her a bit more HP, she gets up to like, let's say 1700. 500 hate, 500 damage is being nullified every single time if it's the, if it's lower than that. So all of those little, those little monsters that will hit you for like 100, um, 150, 200, stuff like that, that's all getting nullified. And why it is so amazing is because it's a technique you can constantly 
sorry about that, that you can constantly use. So you can spam this. Unlike what I covered one time in, I think it was the Heinwald um, review where I was talking a little bit about the dragon, um, Nyalo Tep, I, I can't pronounce his name. Um, he has a shield that's very similar, um, but it's only, you know, applicable to that one use. Do you know what I mean? It's only that one use, but this is spammed. You can constantly, constantly spam it and you can keep using it like, you know, every 10 seconds. And then I haven't even gotten to the next bit. <laughs> so this is why Hildegard is so crazy. So, and gradually recovers their HP for 15 seconds. Okay. So while you are being defended, while you're being defended by that amazing shield, which is based upon Hildegard's maximum HP, you are also being healed for 15 seconds. I don't know how much exactly is, but I'm assuming it's based upon her, her overall strength, right? You're, oh my gosh, this is, so, this is the technique. When I saw this, I was like, right, okay. I spent some money on getting the, um, the five star choice um, selector. And I said, you know what? I looked at each of them. You know, I had my, I had my, you know, my, how would you say? had my eyes set up on uh, Mikoto, which is the firebase warrior unit. I do need a firebase unit, but no, like I had to get Hildegard. Hildegard is too much in this game. Like she will stand the test of time, if you ask me, when it comes to the amount of skills and abilities she has. And like this is just one of those really, really, really amazing skills. You can't get any better than that, to be honest especially not in this current game at the moment before the updates and whatnot. So, moving on. I was, I was talking about that quite a long time. So, moving on. Um, rainbow Spirit, which is the weapons technique. Um, this is the Rainbow Cane. I actually covered this already in the High World review, so check that out as well. Um, increases the potency of the user's recovery skills for 10% in five seconds, okay? So that's just an extra 10% on top of everything she has already. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's all just adding back into all of that healing, 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 which is really crucial in this game because, you know, the monsters are getting stronger and they are giving us updates to monsters which are going to be more and more stronger. So let's come from that course recovery potency similar to high world um you know you get another 10 percent. so that's already 20 percent extra on top pretty much that i can uh, utilize you've got the abilities themselves so these are the abilities that you get through the mana circle she's got 100 skill prep similar to high world which is amazing so that rainbow spirit skill is going to be activated straight away which is good um 15 extra healing i mean come on man this is getting stupid so another 13 percent when um hp is 70 or above like what i said with high world it is very unlikely that you're going to be below 70 percent if you know how to dodge in the game it is not a problem but i've said that already so i won't go on about that right so shadow um damage taken by five percent so you know that's just all saving you and stuff like that Recovery potency again. Um, increases the recovery potency by three percent, max up to twenty percent. Oh, I mean, come on, man, it's ridiculous. I think this is all. This is all the overall stuff that I've given her through, like the dragons, the abilities, the weapons, and blah blah blah. So yeah, I've got another fifteen skill. Oh, and the wind prince. That's another thing as well. The wind prince. I think this one's a wind prince skill. She doesn't even need that because, of course, she's got a hundred percent already anyway. You know, what I mean, at the start of the is that the start of the quest? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to take that off because that's really not needed. And then, you know, the 45%. So these are just extra skills that you can add on as well to the um, abilities and stuff. Here's the breakdown of the different ones that I've got on here in particular. So I thought I'd give her the New World Escort, which I'm pretty sure was the skill prep and recovery potency. It was mainly for the recovery, I put that on there. But we'll definitely talk another time properly about equipment, abilities and skills. Um, but this one's more just about Hildegard overall and how great she is as a character. If you are willing to spend the money, I would really, really recommend if you don't have her, make sure you get her. 
she is really really good just uh, you know she <laughs> it says it on the tin man you know what i mean just this just this skill alone just sets her apart from everybody else all right and with that i'll i'll call this video to a close um make sure you like and comment tell me how you feel about it. tell me what you think about it. Um, and if you disagree with anything i've said um please let me know I will happily, um, you know, reply back to any comments and stuff like that uh, when I have the time. And just subscribe to the channel because, you know, there's going to be much more videos coming out like this. And if you're a good big fan of um, Dragadia Lost Like I Am, then please, yeah, you know, feel free to comment on the videos and everything. And, yeah, just keep updated with everything that I come up with. All right, but until then, take it easy.